friends, this is MDV. Today my fasting day, once a week, I enjoy a juice fasting or gentle juice fasting or tree yoga moon fast, <coughs> as we call it, and just drinking juices or maybe nut milks, and the fiber is out of the veggies and the fruit and the nuts, and only the juice, the nutrient dense part stays. Reducing the calories, a little bit of discipline, and the rest enjoy. Today I make a pear juice together with red beet and ginger. The pear I found together with ginger, it's, it's especially interesting, that makes a really warm feeling in the tummy here. Ginger and pear, hot and sweet. It works so nicely together. I was so surprised. So I said, I tried to combine the classic pear and beet. Usually I use a beet juice, um, mainly from beets, and a little bit of pear uh, to make the beet, the beet um, nice in the throat. Because it can lead to scratch if I juice it as is and drink the beet juice. It will begin to scratch in my throat half an hour later after drinking or 20 minutes. That's not pleasant um, because of the oxalates. But if you combine a little pear, it doesn't take place. So it's nice to combine pear and beet. But together with the ginger now, I use a lot of pears for the ginger and a little of beet. So I turn it around and see what what it feeling what a feeling would 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 have would, would take place, what I have with the juice. I begin right away after explaining all these background informations and I see you in a moment tasting the pear beet juice in front of you. I juice my produce and I have a nice here, a nice container <laughs> of juice. All that left this left just tasting it. Stir a little bit to bring it all, to combine it all evenly. Oh, it should be good. Now I'm curious. It's a pear juice to make sure, because I'd say the other way around before the, the video break. It's not a beet juice. It's a pear juice with a little beet. Okay, <laughs> let's see. Mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. mm. Nice. It's a pear juice with a bit of beet. <laughs> and the ginger is there too. It's not too much. I used all of the ginger. It was quite a lot, as you could see. But it still is not overwhelming. It's not even very hot. It's nice. So, pear and the beet are very strong here. Color is wonderful. There's a lot to tell about stories. Uh, stories about beet and beet in kitchen and the different very different combinations. The classic with the pear. Okay, I told that before. But beet can be very very. Mm, multifaceted, so very lot of variety is possible with the pear, with a with a beet. Don't any other fruit or veggie. You can do that. You can do that. Now I tried this, and it's a fascinating flavor. It's really the beet in the background, the colors in the foreground, and the pear is all there, and it has this gentleness. It's it's I can't describe the pear as something. Very soft and gentle, but it overwhelms you too. It wants now that's the right correction, the, the right expression, maybe it wants all the space to to show its flavor, its greatness, its gentleness. It needs a lot of space. You cannot uh, overwhelm it with others. You shouldn't do that. You use too too much of the other fruit, <clears throat> the pear will be overwhelmed and it needs this space. Probably that's something the pear is good described with. I don't know comes to my mind right now seems to be correct see I want to see what you say how you feel about this juice about the pear about the 
about the beat, the ingredients, the combination, leave a like and about gentle juice fasting. Subscribe MD Vegan on YouTube, have another recipe every single day.